We do want to warn you, want to start off by warning you, the details are hard to hear. It's so awful. A toddler's body found dumped and burned in a vacant lot in Seminole County. Two people are locked up for the crime. Chad Jennings, accused of murder and child abuse, and Catherine Penner, accused of accessory to murder, enabling child abuse, and des desecration of a corpse. News Force Kai Torque has the latest on the investigation. This is a tough one, Kai Tour. Absolutely. Seminole police got a tip last night of a possible child death and early this morning uncovered a true horror, the remains of a burned toddler. Any homicide is obviously tragic. Um, but when, you know, a, a child is murdered, it is, um, it's just really hard. Investigators struggling to understand what appears to be a child homicide in Seminole. The Oklahoma Bureau of Investigation releasing these photos of the suspects. 32-year-old Chad Jennings and 31-year-old Catherine Penner. Tuesday evening, Seminole police got a tip of a possible child death, fearing the worst as night became morning. They were able to secure a search warrant for a location off Highway 99 in Seminole, where they found the, what appears to be the burned remains of a small child. Investigators not revealing details on the toddler, but explaining the remains were found on a vacant lot. Their investigation then leading them about 15 miles north to the home of Jennings and Penner. The accusations against the couple shocking neighbors. I was stunned. That's just crazy. It's scary. Jennings faces charges of first degree murder, child abuse and conspiracy. For Penner, accessory to murder, child abuse and desecration of a human corpse. A former co-worker of Penner's who she's known most her life, deeply troubled by the alleged revelations. Before this all happened, I thought she was just cat, like just nice. She was chill. She didn't really do much. Like she was a good boss when she was here, but that's all different now. This afternoon, both Jennings and Penner made their first court appearance at the Seminole County Courthouse via Skype. The OSBI says the ATF is also investigating.